Hello everyone and welcome back to this new Git tutorial. In this video we'll see how we can use a special kind of file called the gitignore file in order to ignore some settings or some files or folders which are in our current Git project. For the purpose I just created four different folders library, local settings, test classes and useful things and put a file in each of these ones. So, the library has a library.cs file, the local settings has a settings.cs file, the test classes has the test class.cs file, and the useful things has this useful class file. So, in the gitignore now, I'm going to write what kind of files and folders I want to ignore. Why is this useful? Because, for example, if you are working in a team, uh, some of you can have custom local settings, and so you don't want to push the, your local settings to the repository each time you push. Okay, since yours are different from your colleagues, and so if you edit your local settings, you don't want to edit uh, your colleagues' local settings. So in this case, the git ignore is very useful. Moreover, the git ignore is useful when you have some libraries that you don't want to push because uh, each one of you has the same version of the library. Or for example, use a package manager, such as in PHP, if you use Composer or something like that, you don't want to push your libraries because you download them with your specific commands. And so, the git ignore is just a text file full of rows. This is, for example, the kind of file that I use in my Unity projects. And now we'll see how we can write a git ignore by our own. So, for example, this means that the library folder it doesn't matter if it starts with capital L or lowercase l, will be ignored. How can I see this? It's simple. If I open Visual Studio in this solution, you can see that in the changes, I have the local settings, the test classes, and the useful things folders. But I don't have the library folder, which is here. And if I delete this, this row from the file and save it, automatically the library <laughs> folder will appear here. So, as you can see, this row in the file is letting me to ignore the library folder. I can do the same with the local settings, for example. I just need to add something here and write local settings. If I save, the local settings folder disappears from my changes. That's pretty simple, actually. You use the, the file name or the file path to choose what kind of files you can ignore. You can also ignore entire folders like this, or everything that starts with this kind of word. Or you can use uh, extensions to ignore files. This means ignore all the files with the SVD extension, for example. And so on. Or you can ignore single files like this. Moreover, you can choose to not ignore specific files, for example, by putting an um, exclamation point before the file name yeah for example if i have two files in the library folder i can do something like this this is the library one okay so this is the file that we are going to ignore and the other one is the one that we want to keep so i'll tell him to not ignore the library folder so we can see the two files now ignore the entire library folder and it disappears and now we're going to say hey just ignore the library uh, or better not do not ignore the library.cs file just ignore the other one but in order for this to work we also have to say ignore all the, the library files like this otherwise we won't see the library.cs so here we go okay that's pretty simple and that's pretty useful because this allows you to work with your colleagues uh, without sharing some files for example password files or configuration files or things like that and prevents useless stuff from going from your local computer to your re shared repository it's very important to know that if you already added uh, some files to your project and then you add the git ignore later you have to remove the files from git from git tracking using the rm command 
Okay, so if you want to remove the useful class, for example, from git and git ignore it later, you have to use a git rm useful class.cs. Otherwise, git will keep tracking of that file even though it is in the git ignore. I hope that you enjoyed the video. From Rick the Fuffs, that's all. See you next time.